Hey, look at this. It's episode 100. You know what I do for this episode? I play Factorio. Let's go. So today, I am going to acknowledge that I have a Vrock food problem, and I am going to walk away from it. Uh, things are working pretty okay for the moment. If the hive slows down as a consequence, that's fine. We're in a stable place. I don't need it running full out all the time. Um, and I have some things I want to do before I can really formally, properly make the next generation of rock food maker. Today, though, yeet alls. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff in my inventory. And there's going to be more in a second. I gotta do something about this. Anyway, yeet alls. And I can't pick this up now. I can't pick up either of these things because of my, my situation. That's... What can I do about this? Can I throw this moss somewhere? Anyone want some moss? Where's the moss gene sample? Yeah, right there. Have some moss. That one log can be turned into... Yeah, okay. That's two. Um, this is the obvious problem. And... Oh, and military stuff. I really need more inventory. This gravel's been my inventory forever. How about I just run due north and then chuck it in a box somewhere? I can put the sap trees back. Wait a second, let's take a look at the yay doll life cycle. I think it's just if you grow them, right? Just super simple. You throw in, oh, fungal substrate. That's easy, right? That's just log and biomass. Biomass comes from, I mean, this, this all comes from the same stuff, right? I can already make improved fungal substrate to be used in nothing. Nothing at all. So I'm going to need a composter. I'm going to need a log generator. I'm going to go steal the template from... Uh, down the power generation area. Just have that constantly going, spitting out logs. Probably only need one of them. We'll locate it next to the uh, Yadol area, which I think I'm probably just going to put like here. You know, why not? I think they, they create pollution. And anyway, I was getting rid of gravel. Who makes gravel? Do you make gravel? Do you make gravel? No, none of these guys make gravel. There's gravel. Who makes gravel? Someone here makes gravel. Where's this gravel coming from? Gravel. Alright, great. Take that. Go away. Um... Yeah, and the big problem is pretty much just... Oh, I can get rid of some of the stone. That'll also help quite a bit. Not here, not here, here. Take that, please. Add that back to the system. Oh, and zinc chloride. Does anyone know what zinc chloride does? I I don't know. <laughs> I completely forget what that's used for. Zinc chloride. Ah, uh, it's made for activated carbon. All right, so I can just run it over here, right? And I can just get rid of it for good. Odd that one side's backed up. The balancing side, too. Just kind of odd for getting an end. Alright, who actually uses zinc chloride? Oh, wait. Came too far. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Indigo. Okay. So, activated carbon full up. And this probably means refined syngas is full up. Great. This is working. I think it's working anyway. Oh, we don't have any contaminated nitrogen because it's not running, because nothing's running. That will eventually impact the hive as well. Oh, just a little, then it's shuffled forward by one. Maybe it's enough, maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, so, yay dolls. Yay dolls. Um,. The determinant is probably how many Yadols I can make from the Yadol culture per spore generator. 
that seems like it'll define the unit of Yadol, right? Then everything else will follow from that. So, let's go do some measurements, huh? It's time for math. Math Tario. Right here, right here. Alright, finally made it. Have a Yadol? Got a Yadol. Alright, so this is just making Yadols. That's not what we want. Yeah. So you can come with me. Do I have any more of you? I'm going to need them for, uh... Oh, um, no, I didn't have one. So we have a spore generator. And we've got two channels here. One for 20 seconds and one for 15 seconds. And I don't... Don't understand. Yadol. Yadol has slow recipe here. And then here we have micro filters. It just improves it. So I guess I just get, wait, wait. Uh, fa, fa, fagua. Did I, do I have a better recipe for this that I'm just sitting on? All right, here, time out. Time out, I gotta go stare at mushrooms. Up, mushrooms. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 that was a problem. All right, anyway, mushrooms. You're doing this, which does every eight seconds, but I have a tech that does every seven seconds. And they look exactly the same, which is very helpful. So that's like just a casual 16% bonus here. I mean, not that that's a huge problem. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I accept that. That's okay. Alright, so now I have to look into spore collectors and do math for... Ah, uh, Yadol spores. I need two Yadol spores to run. Alright. Need two of them. Yep. And that takes, in the best case scenario, 30 seconds. And this will run for... Simon says... Huh. It kind of looks like it's going to run at times 2. Now it's plus 25, and then plus 50. Now it'll go all the way up to, to, to 1 speed. And it takes 140 seconds, so one spore collector can keep 3 of these fed. And this produces then three Yadols. Oh, I don't. I don't know. That's that's a very small number of how many Yadols it makes. Um, this is just used for flavonoids, right? Um. Oh wow! A hundred circuit boards for this. Wow, that's expensive. That is super, super, super expensive. All right, so we need wood. We can get wood. Uh, substrate. We'll make a generator for substrate, and then we should. Hmm. Hmm. I should definitely definitely make a substrate caravan. Caravanzeri. Just an entire section that just does substrate. Alright, so wood generator. We'll put one on hand. Fungal substrate. We'll, we'll do that somewhere. Fertilizer. We'll carry in. And water. We got water. And then this actually pollutes, right? Yes, this pollutes. Kind of. It's going to be quite active polluting, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and these potatoes are weak cleaners, too. Hmm. I guess this is still the best place for them right in here. Again, walling myself in. Guaranteed regret coming, but I'll do it anyway. Um, so the ideal ratio is going to be something like this to right there. And we're going to do 
um, three of these to one of these. And that will be enough. And then we will bring in everything else. Needs four uh, material components. So line and line. And then it needs uh, one yate all out. Maybe it'll be line and line and then yate all out on the bottom. All right. Let's start working on prerequisites. I'm going to need... Oh, how much wood does... Here, let's go check. Let's go visit our power plant. It's been a while since we've been down there. As a, it's a bonus, we get to walk by the bees. Try not listen. To, try not to listen to the confused chirping as we do so. It it means nothing. They are not attempting to communicate. Five queens still there. Three right there. One in the pipe. One in there. Five queens alive. Excellent right there. Um, we have more than enough for Lesia, which is what we want to see. Right here is what we're going to be copying. So what we got... Oh, we're going to have to bring in Muddy Sludge. Maybe I can... We've got way too much Muddy Sludge up there already. I'll hook into the Muddy Sludge line. And we want to do this. This will produce... Every 20 seconds, it spits out seven logs. And that's, and it's going a little over one, oh, this is with normal trees. No, no, no. Right here, this is going two a second. And this is every 10 seconds, it spits out 10 logs. And that's phenomenal. And this is what we're looking for right here. So we want to make uh, a log factory in order to make substrate. So we just got to snatch one of these things. And all of the pipes on this are wrong. Just completely, completely wrong. So what I'm going to do is just kind of use this as a template. And we're going to edit it. Here, let's shove you in my book. We're going to improve on that because what I'm doing right there is aggressively stupid. And we're going to need all sorts of stuff. Um, this looks healthy, though. All this is good put the power problem in the ground. This is totally keeping up. No, it's not asking for it because it can't vent. Alright, good. So, beautiful. Completely beautiful. And I can throw down as many of those as I need. Are you not going? No, you're going. Everyone here is going. We'll look at the bees one more time. We like looking at the bees. Still five queens. Everything is okay. We are backing up on our quads, which is wonderful. And we're also backing up on wax, which is less than wonderful. That is what is going to choke that the hive. But that's not a problem for this play session. All right, what do I got to do? Uh, I need to set up a uh, fungal substrate. Fungal substrate is super easy. Log, and then you biomass some of them, and then you get the rest of it, and it just turns into substrate. So let's just make a factory for this somewhere, and we'll caravan it in. So we're going to need a composter. We're going to need a fastwood forestry. Um, we have one botanical nursery, we're going to need another, and we have to go pick up some, uh, some moss farms. So we'll go, we'll dump some from our inventory, grab some moss farms, and we're good here. Bone meal backing up, bones backing up, everything good? Good. Um, of course it's good, we're slaughtering so many fewer of rock, because they don't get slaughtered, quote-unquote, anymore. They get taken to the bees. <laughs> this is better, right? This is this is better. I'll take these sap trees back. Fortunately, I ran by uh, the area for that. I think molybdium is next for me. 
because I'm going to have to make rock food, which means I have to make a dedicated area for making agar, which means I'm going to need a lot of seaweed. And molybdium is necessary to get... Oh, hi. A five. Good job. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you're going to get coal. Hardest working reptars in the factory. Uh, anyway, I need molybdium fining in order to get um, uh, next level seaweed up. And I want next level seaweed before I start making an agar factory. And I'm going to need the agar factory before I can make uh, rock food again. So rock food is working good enough for the moment. Ugh, ugly. This place is almost completely done. Like we have the coal star right here. Just vomiting out coal everywhere. And if bandwidth isn't enough, just add more dinosaurs. Speaking of this, we have the American dinosaur. I wish I could customize them with like stars and stripes. I would do it. I think it would be awesome. Americasaur. Right there, and just a lot of you. Just a lot, please. Then build a couple of you. Over here. I've got too much. I cleaned too much. And now I'm left with this. Where are you going? I five. You're going on your filtration media? Yeah. Cool. You do good work. Alright, so now we have to start on our quest. We are going to need 12 moss farms, because we're going to have to make two fast wood forestry areas in the end. There we go. We're going to need 12 of you. We're going to need a lot of moss as a consequence. Um, oh, get rid of this. Nice. Anything else military related? Um, because I'm going to be making two fast wood forest trees, I need to staff them with appropriate trees. Thank you. That's great. Um, I kind of want to vent these tree seeds right now, but I also don't want to take them with me. <laughs> so, I guess that's not happening. Um suddenly losing track of the plot. All right, I'm going to need another fast wood forestry. So I just click that button. I'm going to need three more nurseries, for which I'm going to need dirt. i just pick up planter boxes. I have a whole bunch of planter boxes right here. Go and just snatch them. Uh, nursery. That'll give me two, and I want one more. Let's get stone, must get iron. Iron's right there, stone's right there. And we'll have to make a compost. Composter. A nursery. Right there. That's how many we need. Now we need a compost. We need steel, titanium, and copper. Copper I can grab right here. Steel we can grab over here. Americasaur. Now we need to actually go... Oh, no, I have a titanium box over here from when I was sorting ash. Or something. Don't I have a titanium box right around here? What is even going on here? What? Yeah. Yeah, we do have a titanium cache right here. Nice. Alright, so now I need a compost. And I probably need a sawmill. That's what it's it's called, but it's not what it is. It's a wood processing plant, right? Wood. 
right there. Wood processing unit. I need actual logs for this? Why? Serious question, why? Why do you need logs for this? Uh, wood processing. I need two of those, so... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, wood rock. Bam, bam. All right. Uh, we got the nurseries. We got the mosses. We got the fastwood forestries. We have a composter on the way. Uh, that's enough to make... Um, need more caravans. It's going to be for fungal substrate. And then we'll go set up the wood generator uh, for the Yadols. Um, need more caravans. Need a fistful of moss. That can also be gotten by the caravans. So I'll need one caravan. That's probably it, honestly. No, there's going to have to be a fertilizer caravan, and I forget where I've made fertilizer. Um, I think it's somewhere down here. No, not here, here. And then after this, we will go set up the substrate area. And then we're going to have to start discussing how many of these Yadol units I'm going to make. And this is all just for flavonoids, right? Eat alls, eat alls, eat alls. Yeah, it's just for flavonoids and the Adam 42 gene sample, which is used in anabolic RNA and recombinant erythroprotein. No, potinin, potinin, the protein, potinin. Um. Awesome. Super enthusiastic about that. I came here for caravans. Give me two more. Yeah, give me four. Four is a company number. And I should be ready. No, give me a fistful of moss. Um, moss is... Let's see. You go right there, you take 15, and I have 12. So that is what... Uh, 180, I think? Maybe. Just get 200 to be safe. No, I'm picking up things I don't want. Okay, exactly 200. Professional level be belt scraping right there. But, we had follow-on problems. Alright, so, we are going to make fungal substrate. Fungal substrate... Uh-oh. Yeah, I just I need an autom... Oh, wait, it takes forever. Well, no, it's one a second. That's just fine. Do I have an automated factory? I do. All right, never mind. Everything's cool. Where am I going to site this? Instinct says go over here. We're like right in the corner right there. And who's going to say no to instinct like that? Because this is completely self-contained. Um, why do I have water barrels on me? I have to do something about that. Um, I need to consider... I guess nothing really, right? Yeah, I guess nothing. Alright, let's go do this. I think composting the wood is three each. Composting the logs is more, but it's better to... To saw the logs first, right? So wood, just wood, just wood, just wood, just wood. It's way at the bottom. It's times five, and for a log, it's 30? Two, 15 each for a log, and each wood is uh, three each. And every log is... No, I guess it's the exact same, isn't it? Huh. Funny how math works sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah. America Soar has been here. Yes. I can feel the freedom. Oh, I have to slow down. I have to polish up our great defensive perimeter.
the best defensive perimeter. Right, right there. We can do maintenance while I'm up here. It's just fine. Oh, I was going to snag more cliff explosives, wasn't I? Because we were over here. Now I was thinking of going down there, but I'm still I'm going to do it right in the corner right here. Oh, the only problem is we need carbon dioxide, right? Hmm. I don't have any carbon dioxide up here, so... I suppose I can just draw a line. There's plenty of carbon dioxide up by the refining area. Just draw it up and over, just like everything else. Like, there's carbon dioxide right here, right? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Alright, so right here. We are going to build in this spot. And we're going to start by blueprint this thing. Give some space, some nice space. Oh, we don't have uh, tree seeds production. So that's a problem, isn't it? Um, I need another automated factory. Which, yes, I can make. Beautiful. So, a lot of this has to change. Here, you can all go right there. Right. Bam, 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 bam. Alright, so, we are going to purge ourselves of this shame first. This is going to be entirely redone, foyerized. This unit was... A first attempt and a bad first attempt. Oh, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Then on the spot with bam, bam, and bam. Okay, so now that is finally better. <laughs> now we have to, we're not coming out like this. That's bad. We want to go like this instead. And then the link up will be at the, the end. So what I need to do is take all these guys. Oh, never mind. Here, we're just going to pick them up. You have to be in the center now. Because I have to route around you. We have to use space better. Then we're going to have uh, like this and like that. This and like that. Like this, and you guessed it, like that. What we will do is grab this and do it right there. It makes it hard to walk around, but I think I'm never going to walk around this. Um, the only problem now is tree seeds. Like, how do I snuggle tree seeds into this? I suppose... I suppose right here, right? Because we need a wood processing unit to make this actually work. And then we need a automated factory. Maybe I'm doing this incorrectly right here. So you go right there. I wish I could rotate this, but I can't. Right there. This is... Oh, it's just wrong. It is simply incorrect. Um, here, bring me this, my bots. Bring me this. I need to make more... Uh, seeds. Um, so I need to get logs out, which is a problem. Give me a automated factory, what I have just made. Uh, tree seeds obviously go back. Uh, this makes wood. Where's my composter? This is the other big problem, huh? Um, Alright, so I'm probably doing this just wrong. So, no, you stay there. You make substrate. There you go. 
fungal substrate. So we need, and then you make log. So log comes out right there, and you need biomass. Biomass. Probably doing this just wrong. Biomass is by necessity on the end. This is kind of questionable what I'm doing. Alright, so this will make wood. Uh, wood will make seeds. So we need our other factory right there. We need someone to make seeds. This is what this has to keep this going. So right there, seeds, moss, right there, done. Super duper done. Um, but you need logs and you need seeds and you need biomass. So how to do this? I guess we just don't use the space quite as good as we could. I wanted to stack these deeper. But, looks like I'm not going to be able to. So, right there, and then what we need. You know, just wood, wood. Come on, just help me out here. Wood, wood. Make wood from log. Four log, it's one to five. So it's exactly the same. Pitching a log in is exactly the same as pitching a uh, a whole bunch of wood into the composter for the purpose of making compost. So we will have a log line right here. It will bypass that. And it goes to the wood processing center right here. Who will... Are we of the same height? We are not of the same height. Cursed, cursed, cursed be it. All right, so you'll get the wood, and then you will throw the wood to make special tree seeds. Um, yeah, all right, so. And then that wood goes here. That makes seeds. That will go that way. This kind of feels like something that should be over here. Um, can I redesign this? to use this space, you know, this space right here. Um, yes, yes I can. So let's yank this away. Let's pull up all yous. Pull up you. Put you down right there. Good. Then drag that, that right there. And then, no, 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 no. Um, this is the moss line that comes in. So what we'll do is we'll pick up you and we'll put you right there. Okay, and then we have this right here. that. And the question is, how does this guy get his tree seeds? Um, obviously it comes up the center, right? Um, so moss will come in all the way here. This is a moss line. Uh, this will snuggle up to the edge of the fast wood forestry. This needs to feed both of these tree seeds. So, there's just, and moss will be on both sides of this belt, so there's no good way to do that, unless I come around up top, um, you know, just do like this, and then like one of these, that adds height to this, which I suppose I'm going to be using anyway, because of the, uh, um, pipes I'm going to have to put up here. All right, so that I suppose makes sense. 
Then we put the fastwood. But how are they going to get the, um, the seedlings over? Maybe you do something like this, something like that. I'm putting way too much thought into this, but you know, Vectorio, right? Um, that goes on the far side of the belt, so it's very tempting to try to to use some of these belts as uh, double-sided. So this seems like it's a bad plan right here. Um, what I'm going to need to do is this line right here is going to have to be saplings. Okay, stick it up one, please. And the problem is all of these lines naturally want to be something else, something that they're not. It's like this line wants to be... I suppose I can do it like this. All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I believe in this now. Yeah, we'll connect up the carbon dioxide here and we'll collect up the sludge somehow. Yeah, I totally believe in this. Um, all right, so we will have water in right here and we'll make a line. It'll tell you to tap in right there and we'll be fine. Um, we'll have moss line. You don't exist. Moss line comes across like so. Okay. Um, we haven't solved our main problem. We've solved some minor problems. All right, so there we go. Seedlings will go out and then in. Then seedlings checks. The gases will be over there and checked and checked. Only question is, how do we get seeds into this? Uh, we have moss on both sides of the belt. I can arrange for moss to only be on one side of the belt. I mean, I did it unintentionally before. I can do it with intention now. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's probably the best solution right here. So it was like this before, and now we do it like this on purpose. Okay. Oh, I should probably help it by getting rid of all this moss. Yeah. And now we just go straight back to this. We were mocking this earlier. But now we do it on purpose. All right, this assures that the moss will only be on the southern side of the belt. So we go right here, and the tree seeds uh, shall only be on the north side of the belt, which means that this can go completely away. Um, we can just cut all this, and we can move it closer now. All right, I'm starting to get behind this design. Um, we're gonna require a fast insert, uh, a long handled inserter right there, but you know, it's what they're for. This design with pipes right here, I want this to be the future of all the, the wood generating structures, not just what I'm doing right now. All right, so in order to get your logs, you get right there, you turn them into wood, the wood goes in the seeds, the seeds goes on the belt, this belt feeds the seedlings. They get their, all their stuff from right here. Uh, water line, I am going to not do what I just said. Instead, water line is right here. No, 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 never mind. Um, because this is going to have to do exactly this right here. Probably should be using niobium pipe just because I want a sunset iron pipe eventually. But I can't stop myself from making these bad decisions. All right, so right there. And we hook this up. Then we do need niobium pipe, so I really should be doing this all with niobium. I'll change it out. So like that. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, good, 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 good. Right there, right there, right there, right there. And we have something that is approaching a worthy design here. There are probably... Well, I don't even need a uh, underground pipes here, even though that's hard because I never have enough straight niobium pipe on me. But we're going to do that for right now, because it looks nice. It also keeps me forever from moving out of the inside. Niobium pipe looks nice. Even better when you can see fluids moving through it. Alright, so, meow. Uh, and there's no connections right there, so we can just do that. Now all the sludge is co collected, con connected, he says, using English like words is dud does, yes? Oh, I can't even make a joke about misspeaking. Um, you are going the wrong way, sir. Yes, sir. Wrong way, sir. So I wish there was a more elegant way to connect them both here. It doesn't look like I'm going to get that, huh? The best way appears just to be doing this. And then see how long we can leap. It is not long enough. And then like right there. And then... Yes, what this means is the sludge needs to be out. Right there. Good, and good, and good. Sludge out, sludge out, sludge out. I think there's no harm in... Oh, there's lots of harm in this. Lots of harm in that. Don't don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I wonder why it didn't stop me from doing that. Because of having unlike things hooked up. Alright, so... What we need to do now is we need to bring sludge and carbon dioxide out here. Which is easy enough with a pipeline, right? I don't want to make either of those right now. Uh, water we already got. So, you're like this. And then straight over. And just, you can tap in right now. Good job. Alright, water in. First ingredient in. Now we have to do the other side. Um logs beach to it um can we fit both of you on the same plane oh it's so hard to tell i don't think so i would love to be able to put them on the um like on top of each other but no i don't think that's happening and this guy needs to be on the water line in order for this to feel worthwhile. So the water line should be right here, right? This is not super great right here. Hmm. I guess this should be like this. I guess this should be aligned to the north. I wish I could tell if I had aligned it properly, but the building is just so damn big. I have not. Alright, one north. There we go. Alright, so. Um, logs will come out. Some logs will get biomassed. I really wish I could stack these on top of each other. This is just too damn big. Um, yeah, it's a shame. It really is. I guess the thing to do... is to leave some space. And then put the caravan area right here. Because the question is going to be whether or not I want to do one or two of these here. 
And the answer is probably yes. Um, and this is just a temporary thing, and I don't want to put down the caravan because of... Um, uh, I know if I have to move it, it's going to throw off so many dinosaurs. So the caravans area really should be the, the anchor of everything. Yeah. All of my uh, power pole problems are solved. Which means it's grenade time. Yeah. Greenpeace. I am not a member. So guess the way to do this is to not do what I'm doing right now. Um, we should make a line. We should align you with the bottom, because that just looks right. And then we will make a... Like this. Alright. That right here... This right a year is our log and compost belt. There. Log and compost. And so logs on bottom, compost on top. Which means um, the best thing to do... Honestly, the best thing to do should be have, would be have a return line then have the caravan be in the corner. And if I have to scale it out or scale it up and down or flip this around. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, I declare the caravan goes right there. And if I have to build out more, I'll build it out on the bottom or reflect it or something. But this is going to be the fungal substrate caravan. The problem is, it's not, well, screw it, we're going to build for, build for expansion, one, two, three, that's probably enough, substrate, and I spent way, way, way too much time on this. We'll see it run. I say I spent too much time because it's kind of endangering my ability to get Yadols up and going this session. Right there. And if I ever have to expand, it'll be over here, and then... I don't know. Oh, you... Damn. It is... No, that wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. Here, put that back. Put that all back. Okay, here we go. Enough? I don't know. Alright, so. This looks okay. I think it's probably okay. It might be okay. What I gotta go do now is go bring in fluid ingredients. I kind of feel like it's crowding up here. I feel like I should move it down and to the right just a little bit. I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take a long time. Well, not I mean, a long time. I wish I could... Well, I, should, I probably do have the tech to have the bots just do it while I'm unsupervised. I'm not supervising them. Okay, so let's grab this entire thing. Just move it right here. We're leaving lots of space for ourselves. That's probably too much space. That's probably the right amount of space. Right there. Okay. So now we just stand here for for like literally ever. Pick that up. I can do it. Pick that up. All this stuff can be picked up. I can do it. Then I have to pipe in muddy sludge, and I have to pipe in carbon dioxide. And that should be it to have this run, right? Here 
Here I am helping, quote unquote. And I can put down this pipe fairly easily, right? This isn't a hugely intensive job. Surely I can't screw that up. Surely. Hey, good. And it will only get better as time goes on. important to cite this correctly because it's going to end up being the like the touch point for this entire area up here needed electricity in order to plant the composter that was funny all right let's grab a whole lot more pipe and let's drag up the sludge and let's drag up the uh, carbon dioxide It is an utter shame I cannot name caravans. Customizing, I mean, sure, I understand that's probably too much. But being unable to name it Americasaur, it hurts deep inside. Alright, so there's my sludge. And carbon dioxide's right there. And we'll both get them up to the wall, and then they will go alongside the wall. Once I have sufficient pipe. And then that will be substrate, and... Hopefully that's enough, right? Then we have to start... What else does it need? It needs fertilizer, it needs substrate, it needs wood itself, but I'll make the wood on site. I'll go snatch... Uh, here, we can fix this too. This day has come. Up, up. It is time to extend this walkway. Nice. Keep going. Right into that rock. What are you? Tin rich rock. Um, kind of feel like I should treat this as a rail, which means not just leaping up with, uh, uh, with pipelines randomly. So. We're going to start another rail right here. And we will all leap this, so it's fine. You're going to go right here. Like so. Great. Muddy sludge on the way. Um, I do believe in caravans for almost all solids. Like, even the, the huge bulk solid of uh, raw coal, I've linked it using a whole bunch of caravans, and it's working just fine. I'm not sure I'm sold on caravans for, for liquids. Barrels add problems. Okay, we've got a muddy sludge rail up here, in case I ever want to extend the green wall. As it is, this is a worthy member. Right, back for carbon dioxide, and then I should be able to turn the sucker on, right? And then, hopefully, we will get the desired result. I suppose I should have left more space for um, improved fungal substrate, which I know is happening. I mean, that thing is, it will be, ma oh, please, 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 oh, almost, wow, we can do better than that. All right, now. Uh, niobium pipe will save you in the end. Right there, right there, right there, and then over. Then pick a line. Be right next to the water, which is a questionable choice, honestly. But whatever. Remember when this was the far end of the factory? Memories. So, I'll go right here then. Perfect. 
How are we on carbon dioxide? We are doing just fine on carbon dioxide. It's like it's slightly below uh, threshold, so everything's probably working, which means I'm going to have to pay attention to carbon dioxide sometime soon. Thankfully, not right now. All right, fire this thing up. I'm going to want to copy this entire section for what I'm going to do next. Bam, 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 bam. And you need trees. Bam. All right, so now it's nothing left to do but to wire this up. Um, and you don't reach. So this is more than a little bit ugly right here. should probably consider what I'm doing. Or at very least, um, commit to getting better power poles sometime. <laughs> but nah, nah. Wood was good enough for Granddad. It's good enough for me. All right, so here we go. This is the end of the power line. We have left lots of logistics space. And we should be happy about ourselves. All right, good. So everything's going. You don't have water. <laughs> no, pardon me. Everything is not going. <laughs> we have issues on top of issues. But I shall overcome. Bam. All right, you got water. All that's incoming. You don't have carbon dioxide? Why not? None of this has carbon dioxide. Ah, that hasn't hooked up, it looks like. Oh, an issue? Certainly. What's being destroyed? No, it's just grabby hands. It's fine. So you don't have sludge. Why you have no sludge? Well, for one thing, it's not hooked up. For another thing, it's using obsolete pipes. Kind of slipped through there still. All right, you're all going, right? Great. Got all that. You're waiting. You're waiting on that. You need more material. You need, you need all this stuff. You got water. All right. Let's sit and watch this work. Um, well, here's a problem, right? I need some wood to kick this off. Because where else am I going to get the tree seeds? There we go. I have 20 logs to start. Okay, we are making compost. Compost is... Oh no, we're on the same side of the line. Okay, something wrong happened. Uh, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. So we need to get on the other side of the belt. Well, let's do it this way. not do this right here. Sometimes you have good designs, sometimes you have my designs. There we go. So what you will do, all you happy little guys, there. Now of course we can't see any of this because the biomass thing is so huge, but that's not really a problem, is it? I don't think so. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Do you got a problem with it? No. No one's got a problem with it. Maybe I should think of future me. Instead, just do this. It does the same thing. It's slightly more obvious what's going on. Oh, 50 units of fungal substrate already? Oh, and we also we don't have any... Uh, arms here. That's an oversight. Seedling going. Alright, so. 
This should be working. Yes? Alright, you produce logs. Logs go. Get chucked out. Only two of them go into there? Well, the rest... This this will flood with substrate very soon. Or, or uh, biomass soon, so don't worry about the proportions. I'm... It sticks out a little right here, but it's not that much, I suppose. Alright, so you're making your tree seeds. You have everything you need. Saplings are just flooding in. This is going, should be going 24-7 now. Watch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty much correct, right? Alright, so we are on a continuous loop. This is flooded, this will take no more. Logs all come here, it all comes here, it's very loggy, it's very good. There should be a outline right here, which I'll use when I expand. I can expand right here, right here, and here, here. I have no idea how many of these it can support. Ten seconds. So this can support three of these. Probably the same there. But anyway, this is fine. This is just fine. I declare this a win. Go, go, go team. Alright, so now what I gotta do... Um, I'm just gonna snapshot you and put you there. Over here in blueprint land, this gets trashed. We're making the better definitive wood maker. So... Yeah, this is just... No more problems right here. Everything's fine. Walk away. Just walk away. Don't look at it. Now on Yadol quest. And I want to put the Yadols right below. We're going to be building on this walkway right here. So, great. Go me. Probably shouldn't have put the walkway right here. Uh, so this will be Yadol land. Directly below Tufra land. We'll use this area. We have no course fraction? Why have we run out of course fraction? What has happened to cause this? Alright, course fraction is found by making gravel and sand. We're backed up on sand, question mark? Um, okay, I can kind of believe that, I suppose. Right here. We are backed up on limestone. We are not picking up enough limestone. Okay, I believe this. Limestone has like one use right now, right? Limestone. It limestone. We're also backed up on gravel real bad. Um use it to make lime. Okay. Alright, maybe I should be doing that right here. I should absolutely definitely be doing that right here. Um, so, okay, okay, okay. Um, kind of wish I had done this differently. I kind of wish. Um, so the problem is I need to pull the limestone off here. Hmm. I have to do this in a dumb way. Because if I use a splitter, it will only go there. So I have to do this. Okay, have to is such a strong word. I'm going to do this. <sighs> no, do not do this. Do not, do not be dumb. Do not, do not be dumb. I know this looks bad. This is what we're going to do. The limestone will come here and it will supersede the limestone makers, which happen to be right here. This does look more than a little dumb, but input priority from the left. 
and we're going to have to put a balancer right there to make sure it's fully used. All right, great. Now, uh, like that. And limestone out. All right, so that is one use for limestone we have just found. Um, and this does occasionally get used because this is moving forward. It's bottlenecked on coke, which I can go and make more of at any time. So, good. Now, the other end of things. Uh, that dinosaur is still trying to unload limestone up here, right? That's what that means. The fact he's not standing here loading up means he's over here unloading. Wait. He is not. He is out of fuel right here. Ooh. This is uncomfortable that this is happening. Is the snack bar out of food? He was he was he was programmed to store food. We saw that, right? Okay, we're following him. Actually we know where he's going. Let's get ahead of him. He's going to snack bar. Which snack bar is he going to? Ooh, what era was this? This was before Snack Bar North, I betcha. I betcha he's going to... No, he's angling to Snack Bar North. I can see him on the map right there. Yeah, he's heading over here. And there's plenty of AUG food here. So why... So there just wasn't any here when you... Ooh. All right. So that was a small, small problem. I suppose dealing with train problems is inevitable, but I've traded that away. Instead now I deal with um, moody Godzilla problems, which may or may not be an improvement on the situation. Uh, there are thoughts on the matter. All right, so anyway, what I need to do is make wood for Yadols. Um, and this needs to expand if it has to. So, I guess I can expand that way. So, and it's nothing is moving. Well, nothing's moving because uh, everything was broken. So let's just throw this down right here. I kind of just want to get rid of you and you. Well, no. I need both those things. Yeah. I need both those things right there. Uh, the problem is this now makes the wood line has to come like this, and that's not a problem. Alright, stop. Stop. All this. Pick all this up. This is actually a really good uh, diagram, isn't it? Or blueprint is probably the better way to put it. So let's cite it properly. Now the big problem is, here we'll do some math in a second, uh, blueprint, do I want to do this, is this a good idea, ah whatever, I'm doing it, I can always get soil and water from somewhere else, it's not going to be hard. All right, so this will produce wood. Now we gotta do Yadol math. While well, I stand here, we determined it was one spore collector for per five ranches. No, three ranches, right? Three Yadol plantations. Um, we're gonna bring in substrate. We're gonna bring in fertilizer. So we're gonna need uh, two caravans right there. This provides the wood. All right, that's the that's the thing. This will provide, um, we're just going to call it six logs every 10 seconds. And here, logs, log, log. Log becomes wood at a rate of five to one. So this is 30 wood every 10 seconds. This is three logs, uh, three woods a second. Um, three woods a second can, all right, so eight alls. Th 
three woods a second. Oh, we have to actually throw down the thing. Where is the culture? All right, so ye ate all. Ye ate all. You need... Uh, so it's ten wood. One wood every 14 seconds. That's not even worth considering. Because we're now this thing's producing at three a second. And it needs one fourteenth every second. So this means I can run 50 of the suckers off this area right here. So just not worth considering at all. Does not matter. Oh, did I just trap myself? I did. The bot blocked me in. That was a rebellion right there. There's going to be a little problem getting the rest of the ingredients in. But not a huge problem. Do I have another automated factory? Looks like the answer is no. Alright, so. Sludge, carbon dioxide, and water will be taken from the rail over there. This will produce logs don't go this way under this this schema. So this is actually a pretty good wood maker, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, if I'm stacking these, the um, the seed generator can be pulled out and put somewhere else. But this is going to be a solo thing right here. I probably should be stacking it somewhere for efficiency and then caravanning it in. Eh. Eh. Alright, so wood comes out right here. We will have our wood line right here. And this is enough for many, many Yadols. Uh, and so now we need two caravans. Not nece necessarily right here. But they start right here. We have their 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 names are fertilizer and uh, fertilizer and substrate. We will do this. This will naturally put it on both sides. I don't know if it's going up or it's going down. It's probably going up. Um, don't you need all? Don't you need one more? Yet all spores. All right. So now we're gonna start talking about how things are structured. Spores, it's three to one. So the unit is like this, and then um, so like this is the unit. And then one more, and then one more. I think we'll do nine of these to start, even though it doesn't you can do 12 of these at start. They're very expensive though. And you do all spores right there. And so, this will need a an in, and we'll probably need another in right there. And so we'll, we'll stack wood right there. This will be the wood line. We'll get the wood on the inside track, and then uh, this outside track right here will be substrate and will be fertilizer. Okay, great. So we are decided. Next thing to do. make what I just said happen. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. This will be a little bit of wasted space right here, but maybe I'll use it for something. All right, so there, that's that line. And then this will add to that right there. And then we'll have everything we need. So great. Right there. Thing to do now is configure. Oh, I only have one Yadol right now. And then Yadol's out. We'll be right here. Um, it's not going to be able to be in line, is it? That's sad. It's more sad, it's... Well, no, don't do it right there. If it's, if it's that sad, just don't do it. No, that impinges. Mm. 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 That looks best. 
but requires this. Now I suddenly need more, uh, uh, okay, it's there. Fine. There's Yadol's out. That should be no problem whatsoever right there. And so, Yadol, and then we will somehow rig up a water line right here. Um, are you actually in line with anything? No, you are not. Can I, can I do that? Can I make that happen? So I don't have an embarrassing juke anywhere? Looks like no. We are in... We are living the embarrassing juke life. As I move everything up one, that will drag this out of alignment. No, it's not in alignment. It does need to be drug up one. Oh, serendipity. Um, everyone move up one. Please and thank you. Please be doing that. Okay, good, good, good. While that's happening, I will throw down a dinosaur. Dinosaur, I choose you. Add destination, food court. Food court, north. Food court, store food. Next destination. I need you to go up to substrate central, right? Yeah, I want you to fill your cargo. I want you to come here, right there, and I want you to empty your cargo. Here. Go and be fabulous. All right, dinosaur taken care of. The question is, where do I do fertilizer? Where do I make it? Uh, I know it is made. That that helps, right? I know at some point it is created. It does not simply appear out of ether. There we go. Now you got water. You will have water. Here, take that. Um, are you still connected? Good. Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So we will do it like so. Then, whoop, whoop, again, like so, like so, like so. Not you have to do like so. This is ugly right here, but I'll live with it. Um have we started making potatoes again yet? No, it's probably still building up course fraction. I'll have to stop by and look at it again. Um Okay, I feel like we're making progress. We're going to want to make uh, three more spore um, collectors and then 11 Yadol cultures. Well, here's do the other thing. Where do I make fertilizer? Oh, and this is... Oh, because the uh, tufers aren't going. That's no good. Dino Man, I gotta speak to you. I want you to go to Snack Bar North. Store food. I want you to go, where do I make fertilizer? <laughs> it's down here somewhere. Is that fertilizer? That's fish food. <sighs> what do I... Is it... It's none of these places, right? That's aug food. That's cocoons. Do I make it in here? Is this fertilizer? Are you fertilizer? No. That is, uh... Um... I don't even know what it is, but it's not. That's urea. And this right here is... What? It's an incubator? Oh, that's making the manure bacteria. Wasn't that also making fertilizer? <sighs> I'm gonna have to search for this fertilizer? 
That's a wood processing unit. Um. Well, wait a second. How would I turn on icons? There'll be a fertilizer icon right next to it. Fertilizer? Fertili right there. There's fertilizer. Yeah, alright. See, I am smart. I am be smart, yes? Then you come back and you dump right there. Empty cargo. Store food? Alright, great. Be on your way. Alright, so, now it's time to start shopping. Now I should wire this up. Oh, it's not even done yet, so... A little need for that at the moment. I suppose I could hook up this area right now if I wanted to. Alright, what I really want to do though, add another walkway. Because this is not the last time I'm going to come visit this area. Alright, it's time to go shopping. Ah, uh, spore collector. Need three of you. Need small parts. Um, we're going to stop by the coarse fraction area and try to make sure that that hasn't locked up again. Uh, I really don't like the coarse fraction recipe. It's, it's got too many side effects. Okay, so this is this was never really a solution. Um, and I didn't even do this right. Great job, me. There, now it will completely overwhelm that. And dunk that back in. So this needs to be kept an eye on. It only makes three coarse fraction per cycle. That's just sad. Anyway, glad I checked on that. Is this any problems here? Wonder why. Oh, it's in the entire system, I suppose. No, it's in, it's in here. Weird. Alright, never mind. It doesn't matter. Let's go down. Oh, look, we're making progress here, too. Ah, uh, I should go check on iron. That traditionally is the 42 million left. Did I just see a hole there? A square-shaped hole? That's cause for concern. Alright, I gotta go get small parts. We're just gonna go down the main bus. We're gonna go to the main mall. We're gonna have to go get a lot of circuit boards. I mean, a lot of circuit boards. And we're gonna do 12 Yadol uh, plantations. Ah, uh, so... I need 11 more. Alright, so, here, get rid of this. Here, take this bolt. Take this. Take. Take. Take that. Okay, great. Now I need, now I need, I need to, oh, that's the good one. You go in there. You get stored. Now I need to make spore collector. Uh, it wants me to get more iron plate for why? Probably want steam engines. I probably don't have enough pipe, but whatever. Alright, spore. Bop bop. Now go get some more steel. And spore. Alright, now, finally. Oh, I need. I need a lot of concrete. So we're going to need 11 storage tanks, and then, uh, let's just start, I suppose. Go get more Duralumin, one of the few things I don't have here. Alright, let's go shopping and make these things. And then, it's probably time to call the episode done. Maybe a successful episode, at least. We have marched forward one more tech online that wasn't there before. Um, so Duralumin, bop, bop, bop. 
You need... There we go. We got the storage tanks. Um, Yadol Plantation. Then we need... 55 pumps. We're going to put that aside for the moment. We need... Uh, Bunch of inner metallics. We actually need more inner metallics. Let's grab another inner metallic brick. Bam. Um, we're gonna need 200 glass. We need more glass. So right there. Bam, bam, bam. Now we need duralumin in quantity 600. We don't have that on us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, good. Uh, we need this entire box of circuit boards and then more. So, yeah, just go get more circuit boards. I should have snagged them before I came down here. I knew I was going to need them all. Like, every cache needs to be emptied in order to make this work. But I'll make it. I'll just get there eventually. Wait, whatever. It's just more running. Can't wait to get legs. Uh, I have always favored legs over bots when it comes to equipping my guy. Legs. Super important. Good. And I need circuit boards. For why I come, I come for this. That's one more. That last one's for me. Alright, Yadols. I need 1100 titanium plate. Fabulous. Uh, one. So let's get all these. Now we're getting into the land of problems, right? Because we're going to need... 2,200 concrete and 55 pumps. So I guess we do the 55 pumps now. Uh, how many engines do I have on me? Five. Oh, and I'm going to have a block of 50 engines in the box back at the other end of the base. That's going to be exactly what I need. But I'm going to have to make room in order to do it properly. Why is there this pause? Mm. Whatever. Probably doesn't mean anything. Creeping closer to the seaweed upgrade. Bottlenecked on rubber, I still I still think. And that's something I'm going to have to address soon. Soon is not now. How soon is now? Excuse me. Uh now is later. Two right here. New. New. Uh oh. Why you no do the thing? You're out of power. Uh oh. 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 Where were you supposed to be powered from? That this got turned off. Uh oh, everyone. We were supposed to have a machine going. There was an understanding. Oh, uh oh. But there was an oopsie doodles. And now we don't have the engines we need. And we won't for a while. Ooh. That kind of stings, eh? I shouldn't have done this. There. Uh, give me a better one. I need Duralumin for that. I got rid of all of my Duralumin. Help me. Help me. Help me. I'm having problems. Just one, please. Slam this guy down. And return this over there. All right, so, so we have caused ourselves an issue here. Uh, we are now in in Struggle City. Uh, 
guess I have to feed these small parts in myself, right? They take 40 small parts, and this is going to take a while to generate, even more of a while to pick up. Um, and I need 55 of these suckers. Well, this is a really unfortunate surprise. Oh, look, blue liquor. That means something. It's one of the, the fancy bottles at the top of the shelf. Um, well, I guess, I guess I just have to wait, right? I mean, that's not cool at all, but I guess I just have to wait. I could go get the concrete. I guess I should go get the concrete. Uh, I suppose we're making this here now. There we go. Let's go get 2,200 units of concrete. That's more than fits in the, the box, right? The box only holds uh, 2,000. I need 22. And I have some on me. No, no, it stacks 1,000 high. Oh, how much have I told it to stack up in the box? That's the next question, right? Okay, let's go see. Box is empty? Oh no, because I told it to come over here. Alright, so this isn't nearly as bad as I thought. Okay, alright, good. Good, alright. Let's go back and see if there's 55 uh, engines waiting for me. But somehow, I think there will not be. Oh, hey buddy, where are you going? High five. The hardest working dinosaurs in the factory. You know, in many ways it's a belt that requires hog food to run. It's a weird way of thinking about it, but has a bit of truth to it. America Saur right there cannot have enough firearms. America Saur knows the enemies are out there always wait. I should give America Saur a gun. <laughs> Just always have this pistol. I should arrange for him to always have a pistol on him. I could probably do that too. Dump cargo, pick up pistol, walk away. I mean, it would mean that there would be a brief period of time where America Saur wasn't armed, and that's deeply uncomfortable for an American to contemplate. But, um, yeah, I guess I gotta, right? Now 26, and now it's not quite halfway there because, you know, how math works. Um, you take any of this? I got moss and I got sap. Here, take this moss, get rid of it. Who wants sap? That's fine. Someone got vomited on. This entire area is now opened up. Usually I would come here and, and dunk my sap in, but no more. It's just not needed. It's like all the sap stuff uh, has been moved elsewhere. I imagine the sap production area is really backed up because I don't know if we have any sap consumers around anymore. This might connect all the way up to the cocoon making area. That's what we'll do while we wait. We'll go look at the rocks and then we'll go uh, take a jog down and we will look at the hive. It's always good to see how the hive is going. So, take a look at the cocoon making area first. This is... we are in... Sapir land? Sponges? Oh, there's a mighty demand for cacalc. This is probably a... A sign, I guess is the way to put it. It's a sign that something's wrong. 
Oh, looks like we're producing enough rock food. Well, it's slowly, slowly, slowly ticking out. And you're stopped because you can't vent. Which is, again, because of pattern issues. We'll fix you right now. Well, hopefully I will. Um, no, I don't have enough inserters. No, I can pick the up, these up. But I need one more. Uh, whitelist barrel. Pattern equals wrong. There we go. The, I, I do not know why, but having one out and one in to the same building just screws up. It doesn't work. Uh, but if you buffer it with a chest like this, it does work. Oh, how we do? Can you be turned on again? You can. Alright, here. Uh, there you go. Do this now. Now he's going and he's filling... Um, he is filling Snack Bar North. And... Uh, that's good. You're going, you're going, you're going. You're going, all is going. And you're picking up as much as you can, but it's it's hard. I understand, it's hard. Um, we were go take a look at the hive, weren't we? Yeah, I'm going to have just enough time in order to get Yadols up. And it'll start the cycle. Honestly, I should have started the cycle right now. You know, with everything in place, instead of building out the entire area first. But, you know, we are stopped. We are stopped because we cannot vent honey. That is acceptable. We have a bounty of everything, everything going. This is the correct ratio. I can do math good. We have everything we need here. Yes. Um, we are not backed up at all here. That is the correct ratio. This is going one queen in the, in the barrel, one queen on deck. Two queens. Wait a second. Two queens right there, two right there. So we're still at five. Yeah, no one has died. No one has been born. It's just the hive is going. And we are slowly accruing arc wads here. And that's... Well, I suppose it's very slow because we are reliant on luck. I should have no, no limits on how many we get right here. We're reliant on luck in that the, 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 this is ever so slightly inclined to make more arc wads that are, that are necessary, but it requires luck, you know, to make the, uh, that are consumed to make the egg recipe. So, um, this, that is the accumulated ever so slightly. And what we're doing is we're overproducing queens right now, I believe. We're trying to generate more queens. It's not really working out for us in like in the very, very short term, but in the long term it should work out for us. So we're in a just hive building phase right now, and I shouldn't worry. And if I want to, I could stack another story on the... Um, oh no, I don't think I have the rocks to... Uh, uh, put another egg implantation uh, area online. I I think there just isn't enough throughput there because a lot of that is rock food and a lot of that is um, it's almost all of rock food, isn't it? So this is good. So everyone's going. It's going to be really weird when I look at the graph. Rock. It's going to be very pulsy, won't it? No, it's kind of... No, Vrock Cocoon. I want to see rocks themselves. Yeah. See, look, very pulsy. Like, no cocoons. Cocoons are here. Cocoons run out. Cocoons are here. Cocoons are out. Cocoons are here. So, once I... I don't even know. Maybe I have to put in more cocoon makers in order for this to actually work out properly. Right now, it looks like we're about at the same, just like about at the same productivity that we were before, which is 
quite unfortunate. But we'll work it out somehow. This guy has taken all the rocks. And I should have checked the rock uh, bin to see how many were waiting in the hopper to go down. Anyway, there's clearly... I have not succeeded in doubling rock production. There is a lot more I have to do in order to get it going properly. And only then can I put another egg implantation uh, module on the hive in order to generate more arquads. So, um, yay, I guess. Yay. That was a fun little tour. Let's go and get our engines and get back on task. Our job, yay dolls. We have to, ju uh, to grow the weird mushrooms. Alright, good. Have you got my stuff for me? Still don't got my stuff for me. That's... It's almost entirely because of the... Um, it needs to be fed small parts in great quantities. Hmm. So I need ten more. That... That is pain. Wait, are these engines? These are engines! Oh, pick them up. Alright, never mind. There is no pain. Everything's fine. It's great. I feel great. I feel great. We need... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. Yeah, okay, everything's good. And that will get us... the last of everything we need, right? In order to make all of these Yate all things. Uh, we have to wait for this is done, though. I mean, have to is a strong word, but I want to. How about that? Yeah, we'll see it tick up slowly. I will be making these properly at some point. Just, you know, not now. Which is what I say about everything I should be doing and I'm putting it off to later. You know, it'll be done eventually. Just not right now. Not right now. It's not time yet. Oh, I can get rid of this one unit of ash. That doesn't need to be here. Um, what else? Anything else can be just jettisoned? Oh, these water barrels definitely need to go. Mm, too much waiting this episode. I should get rid of this pie tank. I'm going to need more um, belt, too. So it's probably good I'm hanging out here, thinking ahead just a little bit. Wait, why are we at 11 right now? Why do we need more pumps? Oh, because it's... Yeah, it sees it coming. That's what's happening. It sees that I have all the parts. Alright, that's fine. They gave me inventory space. That's all I care about. So, look around. Know thyself. Up, up, up. I have a whole bunch of you. Now, from here, please. Um, yeah, let's go do it. We will put together a Yadol factory, and we will be one step closer to Science Pack. And then next episode shall be Molybdium, and the episode after that, uh, hopefully, like Seaweed 2, maybe Seaweed 2 next episode too. Try to get them both in. You know, let's take a look at Seaweed. It shouldn't be that difficult, right? Because we want Seaweed to seaweed seaweed mock 2 yeah throw in seaweed throw in water throw in fertilizer and molybdenum trioxide which is just processing st oh i don't like it's throwing off sulfur i do not like that as a side product and then we make molybdenum plate so we need to have a caravan for trioxide and Probably a caravan for plate after that. What do I need this for? Nada. Not a thing. Um, oh, we need filtration media to do this. Good thing we did that, eh? That is definitely going to get caravaned in. So unfortunately, we are putting down a large polluting entity 
right next to the wall. This probably isn't the smartest idea I've ever had. Well, we already have this here, so, you know, why am I crying about it? This will eventually all be used, just not right now. Are we working yet? No, we are still short of course fraction. Okay, I gotta go look at this before I leave. Um, but anyway, let's throw down this. So we want do this in threes, right? Wait a second, am I doing this wrong? Wait, I am doing this wrong. So it takes thirty seconds to make one of this. So it's going to take four. It, it will process four, not three. So I made an extra spore collector. Um, well, glad that finally hit me. Um, why hasn't the, uh, the other thing shown up? The fungal substrate. Here, let's go kick that guy. Here, we got to do this. That looks all right. Let's kick this other. No, wait. We'll, we'll we'll give him a chance. We'll give him a chance. Maybe he'll get here by the time he's needed. All right. So 30 seconds. 30, 60, 90, 120, and it's 140 overall. So yes, this is the proper ratio. Okay, I'm doing it right this time. Kind of maybe. Um. There is no guarantee I'm actually doing this right. Right there. Bop. 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 There. And this will unfortunately produce uh, quite a lot of pollution. I mean, quite a lot. Oh, well, yes, this is going to be quite a lot, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, copy this. Copy it three times. There's no reason to be fussy about anything on belts. Oh, we should also... Power? Did it just skip right over? Did no, it's in range. All right, sorry, sorry. It knows what it's doing. All right. So this will just work, right? If I go and I do this, so one, and now a two. Uh oh. And a two. And after this will be a tree. Yes, I can screw this up. No, just let me handle this, guys. Super brain dead. I can get it on a second try every time. I really should have turned the bots off before I did that. What am I going to do next time? Alright, so here we have a two. And then right here, bots off. Paste. Brings us to a three. Then I will handle this. I will also handle this. This will lead to some wastage, but nothing that is particularly valuable. Good. 
now this is all set up now we just have to plug everything in and watch it run and hope I didn't mess something up now I should probably put the, all the recipes on correctly where are you going? okay good job thoroughness I appreciate it did I see one of these guys moving? you've got power how do you have power? How do you have power and your compatriots do not? Hmm. There we go. So, is good question mark? Is good exclamation point? All right. Oh, he made it. I knew I had faith in him. I just had to wait for him. He'd come through with the substrate. Yeah. Great job, Reptar. All right. Next thing to do is just uh, hook up all of our various sauces. So this is... Oh, no. Well, it's going to work out exactly right here. So there we have Muddy Sludge. It's going to work out just about everywhere, isn't it? Nice. There we go. Carbon dioxide. Now you guys start going, which means we're going to need water in now. I think we got water in. Right. And we can just arrange this, right? Oh, this is a problem. Yeah, this is definitely an issue. I will go over. Can we go completely over? This is ugly, what I'm doing. It doesn't even work, so... <laughs> um, what to do? A, what to do? Will you actually output water right here? No. You will only put it directly on something that takes water. One of your compatriots. You are, in fact, a liar. So what we'll do is just not try. The safest thing to do is just never to try. Don't worry, I've got gotcha. you. We gotta go right there instead. All right, then you, okay, just everyone calm down. Stop flashing angrily at me. There we go. Water will come down like so. It will come right here. Like so. Then we can come here and we can either partake of that or we can come over to the main line right here. Which is going to be a little awkward, isn't it? Alright, well. Make it work. Bam. All right. So there is the ingredients of wood. That is flooded in. Okay, you got your. Mo oh, you need some logs to start you off. There you go. There's your initial starter logs. Yep. Makes wood. Some wood becomes tree seeds. I wonder if I should fix the ratios. Probably, probably should. Um, make sure tree seeds are not prioritized, but uh, have equal weight. This will back up, so that's good. And then this just comes around. All right, so this is fine. This is fired up and going. And we should have yadals being made, right? Now it's gathering its wood. Alright, we will have success. And then I just have to stop back here um, over and over and over again in order to get the exponential growth going. And uh, we have to go see what's going on with Core's Fraction. There is a huge ongoing issue right now. So why are you stopped? No moss.
I would have thought that this would drive both forever. I suppose the only thing that matters is whether this stops. That one had a hitch. And are you gonna stop? What was the problem here? Now we've stopped. That's bad. And I thought I had rigged this up so that it was always going when I did the math right. But perhaps I did not do that correctly. Anyway, there we go. Yadol's being made. Ah, uh, huzzah, I say. Huzzah. That. I think is going to be it for this episode. Almost exactly two hours is what I shoot for. I have to go do something, you know, useful and productive now. Try to use my time on this earth well. 37. Just go a little farther. There you go. Now we don't have both inventory slots. Very tempted to sit here and wait out the first cycle. It's going to take a while though. I'm not going to be thrilled with the amount of pollution it puts in the air, though in theory the Tufra should clean it entirely, especially when I put the double layer in. Ah, our course fractional arrived. Okay, finally, finally. Um, though there will eventually be a potato shortage, or, or, or potato glut, and it won't go anymore. If that's going to be matched by eventually there's going to be a Yadol glut and that won't go anymore so you know equal um what's going on in there so we've got a weird alien mushroom oh that's an that's an ant no it's an it's a it's a bot shaped like an ant huh I don't want to breathe any of that. I don't. I don't like this. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't want this in my base. This is looking. This is problems from beginning to end. I'm. I. Is there a way to? Where's the emergency burn button? Like, press this button if you want to incinerate this square. I'll. I'll. I will definitely come back to that button eventually. Why do I still have some fine concrete? So I guess the answer is yes, I am going to stop and watch it work. Uh, we're going to see at least one product be produced. Ah, there we are. Then probably look at the hive one last time because that's what we're going to do. Maybe... No, I'm, I know what I'm going to do. Um... I am going to uh, look in the molybdium. Mol molybdium. Molybdium ore. What do you need for it? It needs a molybdium miner. That's for sure. Can I just make one of you? Molly. No. That's too simple. No, wait. Right there. Oh, I need more engine units. Uh, well, lucky I put that together then. And I need iron niobium alloy, which I don't think I have. Iron niobium alloy. Yeah, I don't have this yet. So I guess we have a side quest. I mean, it's super easy. Just, well, niobium. Okay. Maybe I have to bring niobium over first, because I have a, a very crude niobium place uh, a maker right now though I could just caravan it over like like my niobium production right here I think it's this line very crude and there's only one liner this is super duper primitive so maybe I add niobium right here and then um, also make the alloy down here and then molybdium and then uh, make seaweed then bring over rare earth which comes from up here and then aluminum and then from there I should need everything I need for pack uh, then I make corlexes right and then corlexes give me casein which is just milk 
Uh, good area on sample. There's a lot of stuff in here I don't want to talk about, so I'm not gonna. Superior egg, got it. Moss, got it. Plastic, got it. Honey, got it. Flavonoids, I just made, right? Yeah. Literally just took that and got it under control. Um, Sarcorus, I got. Perigen is going to be a weird balancing act. Uh, needs artificial blood, too, which is, again, rare earths. This is another problem. Six plasmids. I mean, it's straightforward, I suppose. That's a lot. It's expensive, is what it is. And that makes three perigen and five sarcoris, and I don't think that's a proper ratio, and I'm going to have to work that out. But it shouldn't be hard to have it use the sarcoris preferentially off this recipe, and then have it supplemented with the normal sarcoris re uh, recipe. And of course, mechanical parts. I've had this in my back pocket forever. I've just had to sit down and do it. The main thing that's holding me back right now is I don't have proper aluminum and duralumin on the grand bus. The grand obsolete bus here that I made and now is, is again, obsolete. And I'm going to do uh, mechanical parts right in here once I have aluminum up. So order of events, uh, formal niobium processing followed by um, molybdenum processing followed by rare earth processing followed by aluminum processing um, and that's a few episodes right there anyway we got Yadols. look at this nice bam bam and you go too so you're going at speed one that's great you're making 12 pollution a minute and this guy up here is eating 18 a minute, so I mean, it's alright. It's not fabulous, but it's alright. Um, 18 a minute is uh, a rather unfortunate amount of clear. And this is going. This is perfect. It's completely backed up. Alright, everything's fine. We're going to go look at course fraction one more time because it's been causing problems this session. Then we're going to run all the way down. We're going to take a look at that. What do you got? What you got, buddy? Ah, sand delivery. Ah, he's got sand in his shorts. Up here, we have all this. You're getting coarse fraction, and it's coming in very slowly. I may need to double this, yeah? Which is fine. Just copy it and paste it right up here. And then route everything accordingly. Um, limestone will continue to be awkward, but there's nothing much I can do about that. All right, check the bees and then punch out. Um, next episode we do. Oh, I have to put titanium over there too. This is proper, but not. This is jank. This is my niobium. Uh, my niobium line, and it is absolutely jank. 20 salt? Are you joking? Uh, anyway, like I said, totally jank. Needs to be ripped up and put over there. And then a caravan. Or just just use bus to bring it over. Probably caravan, though. And uh, continue making pipe here for the time being until I make a formal mall, which is fortunately on the other side of artillery, which is quite a ways away. Let's look ahead. We need to get chem science. We got an excellent plate. That's great. We have mechanical parts. That's great. We got rubber. That's cool. Uh, advanced parts is got it. Probably make you, right? Got that. Got that. Got that. Stainless steel is going to be... So we got lots of this, right? Hey, how do you make nylon? Blood meal? Huh. Blood meal? Fiberboard and blood? I could probably do that, right? That's I'm, Right now I'm just venting blood, right? Or I'm using it to make animal sample. So that's definitely a pretty solid source. Um, so advanced small parts doesn't look like it's going to be that hard. Complex circuit boards will be hard. Stainless steel is just... What are you... 
the hell is aramid fiber? How do you get molten stainless steel? Sulfur, cobalt extract, ferrochrome, phosphate rock, nickel plate, copper plate, niobium plate, molten steel. Ah, it's ferrochrome. Alright, be done. And it's also used in the the problem problem comma the Alright, I'll figure that out too. Uh, the nuclear sample is yeah, that's also a problem. Not the least because it requires an automation science pack. So it's far away. Let's let, let's not lie to ourselves. This is quite far away. However, um, I can conceive of making some of those things, and that's a happy th that, that's a good thing right there. All right, getting distracted though. What's important is bees, and then wrapping up. And then next episode, I move niobium, upgrade niobium processing, then molybdenum processing. Then, um, rare earth processing, then aluminum processing, then one of these days I have to move titanium over there, but I guess I, I just leave that because there's no real impetus for it. We have 73 stored up. We have three in the box, one in the pipe, one queued. So again, we're still at five and we haven't had any born recently. And we are at 350 over here and 400 over here. So that's, well, we haven't had the counter going the entire time. So just going by um, naive odds, that should be seven queens. I feel like we probably haven't gotten that, though. Again, the balance is off. Because uh, this is working harder than this. And we're slowly consuming all of the nests, which is good. All right, so I just leave this alone. Um, so I think that's it. All right, thanks for watching. 100 episodes. I should probably say something, right? 100 episodes. Um, game is really fun. I'm enjoying hard mode. I'm playing hard mode as just recycle everything mode. Uh, and I think I'm doing it. I'm playing it correctly to the spirit of the mod. You never want to put a difficulty mod in and then like find some cutesy trick to short circuit it. Like, um, you know, you put like the difficulty of a fighting game up all the way, and then you find this this one combo that that they they can never break out of no matter what. Like you just mash this button over and over, and they never get a chance to respond. So it doesn't really matter what the difficulty is set at because you have an insta win combo because you know how to break the game. So you should play the mod to the spirit of the mod, especially when it comes to difficulty mods. And so I think I'm doing a good job on that. I'm I am recycling absolutely everything. I don't think I'm using a single. I'm not venting anywhere except that one uh, water vent into the outfall, and I. I think that's can probably be gotten rid of, honestly. Maybe I should consider doing that and have a, just a completely recycled base um, where everything, just absolutely everything, gets recycled. Uh, I don't have. I, I've I've held off from making a dump bin. I know I have Seaweed Island where I I just go and I tr put a lot of my trash, but. Uh, I've held off on making just a generalized, I have stuff in my inventory, I hate it, I'm putting it in this box, that's good. Uh, progress is, of course, very slow. I'm not going to make it through this by the time the expansion comes out, just cannot do it, cannot be done. And I'm content with that. I will play on old versions until such a time as I get through this. I am going to keep going. I will win at this point. Like At this point, there's nothing stopping me. The, the biters cannot pose a threat. I'm going to get artillery. I'm going to start clearing out everything. I'm going to just artillery creep all over the place. Uh, it'll be fueled with uh, caravans bringing uh, shells and ammo and bots and repair packs. And I'll set it up to be um, self-sufficient. That is a use case for trains, though, over caravans. Because artillery shells are just so massive. 
So I wonder if they stack in this mod. Uh, Arendelle made them stack to 50, which I thought was a oh, terrible mistake. But I, don't, I used it. It was part of the, the, the mod. So maybe he was thinking of something I wasn't. But I consider uh, the fact that artillery shells only stack to one unit is just a you must use trains sign. You must. Uh, caravans are okay, but only 30... Um, well, caravans can be used, because of course they can be used, but it's going to be difficult um, for one caravan to bring everything needed to an outpost. So maybe I can do it. Have it like 25 um, artillery shells per cycle, and then like two stacks of uh, piercing bullets one stack of bots, one stack of repair backs. That would honestly probably be all right. So maybe I'm just completely babbling nonsense, which is, you know, 90% of what I do during this, so no one should be surprised. 96 uh, our quads built up. It's good. Um, yeah, having lots of fun. I like that there's new challenges in Factorio all the time. Gonna wanna do Ultra Cube eventually. Uh, gonna want. I should probably just sit down and do a "There Is No Spoon" run. It should be just comically easy for me at this point because I've, I, I've, I've played so much, done so much. I should be able to do it so easily. It should be easy, right? Right? Anyway, I'm talking too much and just babbling nonsense. I'm done now. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye now. Bye, bye. Bye, bye now. Bye, bye, bye.